Hello, welcome to 1995Batman.com. Today we are looking at this, the Batman Forever Battle at the Big Dop 3D board game by Parker Brothers. Uh, as you can see, this is the front of the box, and this is the back. Some kids playing there, I'll show you the setup. Uh, I'll put this all together and kind of show you, kind of roughly show you how it works. Uh, on the back we've got this big kind of text here, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. There we go. Um, so, the Riddler and Two-Face in evil plots to steal brains from Gotham citizens. The Riddler and Two-Face have stolen the show at the Gotham City Circus. Top of the bill is the Riddler and his brain-sucking machine. Can you help Batman and Robin defeat the devious duo and thwart their dastardly plot? Climb the pole, cross the highway in hot pursuit. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but yeah, you, you get the, the, the gist. Obviously this is sort of like inspired probably by the the movie, but obviously it's not a particularly close adaptation. You've got Riddler and Two-Face already working together at uh, the, the the circus and Robin is already, Dick Grayson is already Robin. Um, but some great artwork, I really really like this. Um, if you've seen the style guide you recognize this kind of picture of uh, uh, Batman and yeah all these pictures are really great. Uh, I love all the details. I wish there were some elephants in the movie, that would have been cool. Uh, but let's get this open and have a seat at what we have got. First off, we've got the game board. That is your game board there. You've got the kind of start here, finish here. As you'll see, it's sort of like a kind of like 3D uh, kind of uh, board game rather than just a flat thing. But that's kind of like what the what the bottom looks like. You got the the uh, the ringleader there, who looks like Two Face to be honest. He's wearing the kind of purple, and that looks like black, but maybe that's just shading. Um, and you've got kind of like the things here, like the drummers drumming on the drums. So they've obviously like based this on on the film. They've obviously seen kind of what it was going to look like. It wasn't done so early that they didn't know what the sequence was going to be like. But that's the bottom. Right, so just going in closer to explain kind of the rules of the game. So you get a choice of four players. You get Batman and Robin, but interestingly, you also get to play as Dr. Chase Meridian and Alfred. So uh, often I've just yeah, forgot these guys and just let Alfred and Chase save the day. Um, you roll the dice. You get this kind of, um, I think, eight-sided dice. Uh, obviously, it's got numbers one to four. Um, so, you know, you roll a two, whatever, one, two. Um, the aim of the game is obviously to get up here, up here, up here, across here, down here, down here, round, and to the finish. Okay. Um, in your way are all these two-faced figures. You get four of them, and basically, um, when you get to them, you have to stop, and you have this paper, kind of cardboard uh, coin here. As you can see, it's really bad um, in terms of, like, looks fine that side and then they've really kind of misaligned the uh, the cut there. It's the same with some of these characters as well. Like the two faces just slightly cut off on the other side. It's a shame. It's a bit of like quality control thing. I guess it's sort of, you know, everyone's was like this. Um, so yeah, once you once you reach the two face uh, character, you flip this coin. Uh, if it's bad, you go back to wherever the last player on the board is. So you go kind of all the way back to not the start, but wherever the last player was. Um, if it's good, you get a choice. You can kind of use this flipper to try and hit the Two-Face, literally kind of f fly this uh, ball at the Two-Face, knocking him over. If you successfully knock him over, he moves over to the next available Two-Face space. So up here would be where he moved to. If you roll a green, uh, that's when um, this other uh, scenario of the game plays out. So you've got the Riddler here, no one plays as the Riddler, but if you roll green, one of these cards turns over and they go from the crowd being happy and joyful to being sad and sick. So that goes like that. If all six turn over, that is the end of the game and the Riddler has won and no player wins. <clears throat> but you do have a chance to reverse this if you roll this symbol, the bat symbol, uh, yellow bat symbol, you get a choice of using this ball and if you hit it, fling it through that hoop there, 
you can reverse one of these green cards so you can uh, save some of the crowd. So it's a constant game of you're playing kind of against one another to try and get to the end as fast as possible. But at the same time, you have to consider if you don't use this method of turning the cards back over, then you're all you're all going to lose. So it's it's a uh, yeah, I can see what they're trying to do there, trying to elongate the game, trying to make it feel a bit more like you're both trying to save the day, but at the same time, both trying to win. Um, this is a pretty fun game. As I said, you know, there's some quality control issues on, on the, uh, the cards. Look at that. Really misaligned. It's a shame. It lets it down a bit. And I would have loved, you know, if these were actual kind of plastic sculpted figures. Having the cardboard cutouts a little cheap, but, you know, I appreciate this was probably rushed into production, uh, you know, to make it in time for the movie. I've played this a few times with my kid. Uh, yeah, we've enjoyed it. It gets this bit, this bit with the flingy uh, bat symbol uh, is kind of fun. Um, and yeah, it, it, it is a fun game. If you can find this on eBay, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, it's just don't expect a whole lot. You'll probably get like a 10, 15 minute game out of it, if that. Um, so that is the Batman Forever Battle of the Big Top board game by Parker Brothers. Ah, oh, damn it.